The shopkeeper has been running the shop for as long as anyone can remember. The neon open sign flickering to life every morning is as constant as the sunrise. That was until his time in the mortal world came to an unexpected end. The shopkeeper had always intended to pass on the shop and subsequent shopkeeper title to his only son, Kit, but passed away before he was able to teach his son the reasons why keeping the shop open was so important. Kit is understandably worried that he won't be able to fill the role of the shopkeeper. Plus, the shop always seemed to have a mind of its own, and Kit wasn't sure what to make of that. The first time Kit entered the shop after his father passed, he noticed a golden moose on the table by the checkout counter. Kit remembered that the shopkeeper was especially fond of that moose and refused to sell it. When asked, he would wink and say, that moose practically runs the shop, I can't sell it. Kit walked over and picked up the moose, thinking he could finally figure out why it was so special. The second he touched it, he heard a noise, like a gigantic gong being struck inside his head. He spun around looking for the source and saw that the Alaska snow globe was vibrating. He took one step towards it and suddenly found himself on his hands and knees in a snow-covered forest. Kit pulled himself to his feet and immediately saw a giant golden moose in the forest. The moose looked at him with one large eye and Kit heard a voice inside his head. Find me and all the other golden creatures living in the globes and only then will you understand what it means to be the shopkeeper. Then, as suddenly as the moose appeared, it was gone. Kit, having been thrust into an unknown world full of magic, will have to learn how to travel from globe to globe and utilize the unique benefits of each world to unravel the mystery of the golden animals. In The Workshop, A Father's Legacy, Kit will have to travel through all of the levels in every snow globe in order to collect each piece of a golden animal pin, one for each level in a globe. Collecting every piece of the pin will unlock a new memory, which contains a lesson for Kit and a new mechanic for the player to use. New mechanics are in the form of abilities that will assist the player in exploration, such as additional movement options and improved combat capabilities. Each ability is tied to the animal that the pin pictures. For example, a chameleon will be able to phase through walls, or a flying squirrel can glide or dash through the air. Levels are designed around allowing the player to be able to use the whole parkour moveset to flow between handholds and perches, climbing throughout environments using techniques like running up a wall and jumping off, climbing from handhold to handhold, or even a roll that can spring off into a high jump. As Kit is climbing around each of the levels, he will come across a crafting room. These rooms are spread throughout the game, in each level and one in the shop. The player can collect many different items to use in the crafting room, including the materials needed to make weapons or gear, and they can pick up blueprints for a guide on how to craft specific items. The player will have to make use of these crafting rooms for Kit to be successful on his journey. After exploring the level, Kit is able to teleport out of the globe and back to the shop. The shop is the player's hub. It contains the level select, cutscene viewer, collection lists, and the crafting room. Throughout each globe, scattered around each level are broken pieces of glass that when collected will unlock the next globe. The player won't have to collect every piece of glass, but they are required to collect some of them to be able to progress. Our game seamlessly intertwines a celebration of curiosity and exploration, beckoning players to immerse themselves in a tapestry of rich experiences. With hidden gems awaiting discovery and innovative gameplay mechanics to be revealed, the emphasis on exploration is intricately woven into our design. Levels, while maintaining a left-to-right platformer structure, embrace verticality and hidden areas, encouraging players to utilize movement systems for comprehensive exploration. Collectibles strategically scattered throughout stages act as incentives, while crafting blueprints serve as tangible rewards, deepening the player's connection with the game world and fostering a sense of freedom and personalization. Beyond the gameplay, our narrative invites players on a roller coaster, uncovering the nuances of an immersive storyline. As players explore enchanting realms and unravel the mysteries of the shop, they become entwined in a heartfelt narrative that navigates the intricacies of relationships and the enduring impact of familial bonds. Themes of loss resonate deeply, juxtaposed with the celebration of enduring legacy passed down through generations. Through this enthralling narrative lens, players not only forge connections with characters, but embark on an emotional odyssey. 
making the exploration of the game's world a profoundly enriching and resonant experience. The workshop doesn't merely present an immersive environment. It creates a dynamic challenge catering to both novices and seasoned gamers alike. Whether Kit is sliding from one platform to another, or narrowly escaping the grip of one of our devious enemies, daring encounters wait behind every new location. To help with these obstacles, the player can dive into the intricacies of crafting from blueprints, including finding all of the required materials, figuring out what materials can be used together, and crafting the correct weapon or tool for each scenario. These challenges serve to excite the player, from novices who use crafting to avoid obstacles, to experts who use parkour in tandem with crafting to fly through levels with their own creations. By utilizing open-ended design, we encourage the use of meaningful decision-making to keep each player's experience unique. The game's narrative structure, intertwined with elements of discovery and the diverse challenges it presents, caused us to lean towards 2D action-adventure platformer. This genre was chosen deliberately to capitalize on the seamless integration of narrative depth and interactive exploration. The 2D platformer format allows for a focused storytelling experience, accompanied by the thrill of action and adventure. By navigating through the game world in two dimensions, players can engage more intimately with the evolving narrative, overcome obstacles, and discover hidden facets of the richly crafted environments. The platformer elements enhance the overall gaming experience, ensuring a harmonious blend of storytelling and dynamic gameplay that resonates with the themes of discovery and challenge embedded in the game. The 2D design of this title will enable it to be supported on all of the current generation consoles, including PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, in addition to releasing on the PC as well. The Workshop, a father's legacy, will be a balanced blend of narrative self-discovery and challenging level exploration. The player will travel through the levels using parkour-style movement, collecting materials to craft useful weapons and gear, while also searching for the animal pins and globe shards. They'll use the shop as a hub, accessing all of their collectibles and levels all in one place. Join Kit in his travels through this complex world collecting the lost memories of the shopkeeper, and finding out his true potential.